the grocery store these days, you'll see a ton of products that have probiotics in them, from supplements to yogurts to drinks. Some believe your gut health may even impact your overall health. But our next guest says, don't jump on that probiotic bandwagon just because everyone else is. So clinical pharmacist and nutritionist James Lavelle joins us. He is the author of the Metabolic Code, Cracking the Met Metabolic Code, and Your Blood Never Lies. So James, uh, let's start with the probiotics. Everyone's sure. talking about it. I mean, if you're not taking it, you're doing something wrong right, right now. Right. So it says they. So why, what are they and why are people talking about it? Well, probiotics are basically the beneficial bacteria in your intestine, and they do a lot more than help you with your bowel movements. They regulate hormones, help process vitamins, help you detoxify, even send your hunger signals to your brain. So probiotics are really important mm -hmm. and we do a lot of things that kill them off. Okay, like maybe an antibiotic? Antibiotics, oral contraceptives, people on proton pump inhibitors or acid blocking meds, maybe NSAIDs. There's a lot of different drugs that actually can kill off the probiotics and even stress can do it too and oh. a lot of people don't realize that. Stress does a lot, doesn't it? Okay, so I see you brought some props for us. So I let's did. start on the food because I'm starting to get hungry. Uh -oh. am, I, am I just adding sauerkraut to everything now? Well, I don't know if you gotta do that for everything, but I would start with eating fermented foods are good. So kimchi, sauerkraut, really good in terms of promoting beneficial flora. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of folks are on the kombucha bandwagon yeah. and honestly, first of all, check the sugars on them because yeah. they're really high in sugar and you really don't get enough beneficial flora that's actually working. So the, you know, I think if you enjoy drinking it because it tastes good, great. Um, yogurts, wow, if you're, if you got a problem with dairy and a lot of people do, I'm in my practice last 38 years, increasingly people have trouble with dairy. Yeah. So you got to find a way to get probiotics in. Right. Um, I always tell people look for ones that are heat stable and guaranteed to expiration. I brought a couple examples okay. of that because when you take a probiotic out of the fridge, every time you take it out of the fridge, the heat from the environment actually if interacts with that bacteria and is going to affect the potency of it. But These it's are hot here. Well, it is kind of hot here. <laughs> Make sure. weird. We I keep actually, it cool. I sweated a little bit. I, I mean, it's I know, really it weird. <laughs> it's so triple strange. digits, man. Unbelievable. Welcome to the valley. Yes, so yeah. you like these two brands uh, for our children? Do we? How do we start getting them on probiotics? Is this I, a daily like a vitamin? Every I, day I like children made on probiotics. I just tell them to do it during the weekdays because you know probiotics have been shown to reduce incidence of cold and flu. Uh -huh. They really help with digestive issues. Can help with lipids. Uh, and obviously with this one, guaranteed expiration, human strain flora, so no worry about a dairy intolerance. Okay. So uh, Kyolic, or uh, the Kyolic family, meaning Kyodophilus, really interesting company. Lots of human studies about, about these probiotics mm -hmm. and how they benefit your health. Right. And if you have a question about probiotics, mm -hmm. you can go to probiotics.com, which is a great resource online. I actually am a, a, a guest researcher there, and I'll answer questions yeah, for really? people. Uh, yeah. I know a lot of people are talking about they're gluten-free, um, they have IBS, sticking to, is it the FODMAPs? Fa FODMAPs FODMAP that, diet, right. FODMAP diet. So everyone's talking about something. That's right. That's bothering them with their digestive system. So would you say probiotics is a good thing to follow up with with everyone just as a daily? Uh, I think today because of how much stress people are under and increasingly, like I said, being in practice 38 years, uh, more and more people are coming in with IBS problems, colitis, um, all kinds of issues related to their gut, food allergies, food intolerances. Yeah. The problem is, is that you can't stay on a FODMAP diet forever. You yeah. have to try to retrain your immune system to become more tolerant to foods again, right? Because otherwise you're just putting a band-aid on a bullet hole. Right. You're not really fixing the issue. And the probiotics That's why I really help. They, Probiotics help. Mm -hmm. Along with if you're under a lot of stress, try to get enough sleep, try to okay. learn how to get that stress laid off of you, maybe a little deep breathing, go to maybe a hot yoga class, do something. Well, you can probably do that outside. We just here. got that yoga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right here in the middle. Uh, James, thank you so much. Great information. Oh, and give me that website again. Probiotics.com. Okay. And then your two books are? Cracking the Metabolic Code and Your Blood Never Lies. Okay. Thank you. And thanks for this. Too. You can have We'll it. be right back, Arizona. Stay with us.